Hey, I'm Mike Russell. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create and host a professional full HD webinar using Riversite. Whether you're running demand gen webinars, customer trainings, product demos, or live events, Riverside will give you studio quality without needing the whole production crew. And by the end of this tutorial, you're going to know all of this stuff. How to set up a webinar end to end, invite attendees and automate those reminders, capture your viewers and convert them into your pipeline, host in full HD with reliable audio and video, maximize your engagement during the session, and finally, repurpose your webinar into a whole library of content. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's dive in. All right, let's create our first webinar. First, you're going to need a plan with Riverside. I suggest the webinar plan and pay annually for a nice discount. Now, inside Riverside, you can go to your studio or more importantly, you can create a new studio over here, especially for your webinars. My awesome webinar will be this studio. Now you can choose to record only audio, but if you've got a camera, why would you do that? Let's leave them on. Now transcription language, this will depend obviously which language you're speaking. I've got mine selected as English and we can schedule as well. Let's create this brand new studio. And now we can go into the schedule tool here to set up our very first webinar. From the scheduling tab, we'll go to new webinar. And now here we can do all kinds of things. So first webinar, will be the title. And then I can choose any date. I can put it way in the future if I like. And then I can choose a time for this. Any time that fits perfectly with my time zone that I'm aiming for. You can obviously change this to be a different time zone if necessary. You can invite people by email and they can be guests or even producers on your show. And you can have as many guests as you like. Give it a little description. This is going to be great. Next up, you have the option to add pre-recorded content. This is really good if you've already made something that you want to play during the live session. This will be added to your webinar ready for you to play. So anything you recorded in Riverside before or uploaded to Google Drive, for example, can be integrated and ready to play during your webinar. You've also got audience registration here. You can either do it via a registration form that you create or a direct session link that you'll send out to individual people. I might start with the form. I think that's a great way to get registrations for a webinar. It's got the title, the description in there again, who it's hosted by, and you can even do a custom form and choose what fields you want to add. So first name, last name is good. Email address is good as well, but you can really add anything like a phone number, country, a text field, a single selection field, or even checkboxes if you want to gather more data. You can also go ahead and add things like your custom branding, so you can add your logo in as the custom branding. And if you like, you can also add in a background. You can choose a color if you've got a certain color that you like to use. Or in my case, I'm going to upload this beautiful background to use during my webinar. The accent color will be for things like lower thirds. We can change this around to be more suitable to our own brand. You can also show the Riverside logo or disable that if you wish. Now, here's the really cool thing. If you want to automate your outreach, you can change things like registration confirmation. That will be sent instantly. And if I click the preview button, you can see exactly what kind of thing is going to be sent. It looks really slick. It's a nice email. And you can send lots of these like one one day before, one an hour before, a follow up after the event and a follow up with non attendees as well. And of course, we can go into any of these and see exactly how they look. It will obviously send a follow up with a recording to your webinar. It's very slick, very automated. You don't have to worry about a thing. And here you can also preview your registration page by clicking. And this is exactly what it will look like. My custom background, my custom logo, all there and ready for people to type in their name, email and save their spot. Another cool thing about doing webinars on Riverside is you can switch on live stream destinations. And now you have the ability to connect Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, and even X and stream to all of these platforms and more in the future when you go live with your webinar. All right, now I've created that. You can see the session has been scheduled. It's got my date. I can add it to a Google Calendar and I can copy the registration link as well to send to anyone I need to. And when I'm ready to start my webinar, I just click start session. Now this will take you into the Riverside studio. You select obviously using headphones. I would recommend it. Pop your name in and join the studio. 
At this point, check your framing and your lighting, test your microphone levels, you can see them flash up here, enable echo cancellation if you need it, and also check in things here like your video and audio devices are all working well. Now the coolest thing is you can go into the media tab here and you can upload some media to play during your webinar. I've got this countdown prepared and I think it's really cool. It's a great way to count down before your webinar starts. I can also do things like play around with my framing. So if it's just me, I can go like that. If it's me and a guest, I can do this. And I also have the ability to do picture in picture if I'm sharing something to the screen. And I can do that during the webinar by clicking share screen. I also have the ability to upload a presentation. If I actually have a presentation, that can also be shown. If I share screen, I can choose to share one of my Chrome tabs. So let's go ahead and grab this Chrome tab and share it right now. And you'll see this actually shares live inside my webinar. It's really, really cool. Okay, my countdown is loaded in and you'll notice that I'm previewing it. I can call it webinar countdown if I like. It's all ready to go when I go live. Now, if we want to make a script, we can click the script button here and we can jot things down like this is important. And if we want, we can click the script button and go to teleprompter and you'll see it actually appears on the screen in front of me so I can read it and play back, fast forward, change the speed as I'm presenting the webinar. Okay, when we're ready to go live, we click start recording and this is going to count us down to the start of the webinar and it will go live at the same time it will record crisp audio and video for every participant in the highest quality possible and it will record your screen share and presentation as separate files so you can do remixing after the webinar. You'll see that I'm live now presenting my screen and it works incredibly well. But if I want, I can actually stop sharing just by clicking like that. And then, of course, I can do reactions like this all during the webinar, which is absolutely awesome. If I want to change my layout, I can go back to full screen just with a single click. It's also attached to hotkeys like Alt 1 for the full screen, Alt 2 for a grid fill, Alt 3, Alt 4. And I can quickly change the layout using hotkeys on my keyboard, which is absolutely incredible. There's also the possibility to go through and raise your hand if there's multiple people in the webinar to talk here and there or at any point. And of course, I can switch this countdown to live, click play, and this will actually play live on my webinar just like this. The countdown to the start of the webinar is about to begin and it's showing here right on the screen looking really cool. But one of the biggest drivers of webinar success definitely is engagement and Riverside gives you the tools to make it happen. You can actually bring in Q&A from the chat. You can go into studio chat here, see what's going on, but you can see the public chat from anyone who is here. And if we go into Q&A, you can say, I have a question like so, and there it is. And if I click show, I can actually show it for a number of seconds, 10, 20 or off. Let's do it for 10 seconds. And immediately the question will appear right here on the webinar, which is really cool. And you can reply and say, okay, like that, and actually reply to the person in line. You've got a chat here where people will actually chat. Your questions will be mixed in there. So I can say hello in the chat and you can also run polls. This is really, really cool. And I can say, what do you love? And then we can give options, audio and video. And we can add more options as well. If we launch that, that now goes live into the webinar and people can answer that webinar poll as you are live streaming. When you want to end it, you can end it. People can vote on it and say what they like the best and you'll get the vote count down here at the bottom. It looks really, really cool. So there we go. That is a brief overview of going live. You'll see this is all live. And if I actually click this Riverside link here, you'll see there is a link here. This is the link to my live webinar that I'm doing right now. And when I'm done, I just click stop. And you'll notice just like any other Riverside recording, it's actually going through and uploading. And because it was actually uploading as I was live, it didn't take long at all to get complete. We can then click go to projects. And remember with automated follow-ups after the webinar, including reminder emails for no-shows, strong engagement will lead you to better attendance and leads and more conversions even after you finish the webinar.
Once it's finished and it's processing a magic episode, we can actually go to recordings and we can get all the recordings. So all the participants mixed, the screen share on its own video file, me, any media that I played, the transcript, the polls, all separated out. It's really, really cool. Now, the coolest thing is if you really enjoyed doing this webinar, you can click the share button and you can copy a link. You can embed it on your website and have people watch the replay later. So you have more people coming into the great content that you've just presented. Another really cool way to reach a wider audience is go to create and choose AI translate. This allows you to choose another language to dub into, like Chinese in this case, and I can even include lip sync so it looks like I'm natively speaking Chinese. It will just translate my video. I'll click go and I will have a Chinese and English language webinar ready to publish. And when all the AI magic is complete, you get a magic cut of your webinar. You also get show notes included. And if your webinar is longer than three minutes, you'll also get magic clips. Magic clips are where Riverside analyzes all of your content and trims it down to short bite-sized chunks, perfect to share on social media. Magic clips are also good for email campaigns, training portals, and even ads and retargeting. And that's it. Now you know how to create, host, and repurpose a high-impact full HD webinar. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to like, also subscribe to this channel, and check out the video YouTube is showing you right now. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and happy hosting.